with the release of auto gpt a lot of people think it's going to look like this in a few weeks but no seriously what in the world is auto gpt and how can you be using it and what are some examples well we're going to break down all of those things right now now this is a new project that has been released a couple weeks ago and i'm just going to tell you exactly what it is auto gpt is an experimental open source python application that uses gpt4 to act autonomously that means that the auto gpt can perform a task with little human intervention and can self prompt what's the tldr what does this mean well that means it's chat gpt on steroids it allows ai agents that complete tasks at 100% for you so you can tell it what it, you want it to do and it can go out and find more information and do some more things and it saves you some time now that might be a little scary but we're going to go down the, this rabbit hole for a moment and see some applications or what people have built with AutoGPT. By the way, in the comment section down below, if you've already heard of it, if you're using it, let me know how you're using it right now in your life. So let's go through some examples. In fact, we're going to go through five examples of what people are using AutoGPT to do right now. Um, the first one is to create a to-do list that does it itself for you. For example, this part from Garrett, it says, over the weekend, I finished the to-do list that does itself. Uh, every time you add a task, a GPT-4 agent is spawned to complete it. It, also, it already has the context it needs on you and your company and has access to your apps. That's pretty interesting. So it's called the to-do anything machine. And right here, you can see an example of what they did. So it said, find the best person at Walmart for us to sell to, add them to a Notion CRM, customer relationship management, and to send an outreach email. And then it says, create a memo about our first in product in, oh, excuse me, create a memo about our first in product in Notion and email it to, and they're saying it who they need to email it to, Ryan, and ask him if, he, if he has anyone in mind who would be a good fit to run it. Interesting, interesting. So really, yeah, several steps to go through this. And uh, yeah, and it even shows who it needs to text to and everything like that to do an auto completion for the task. Okay, so creating a to-do list with auto GPT. Have you ever wanted to do that? Here's another one, which I really like that I'm gonna look more into it. From JB, prepare a podcast outline for you. So. Use case for GPT agent, read about recent events and prepare a podcast outline, an all-in podcast example with five searches and five web browsers. Uh, browsers. Auto GPT researches uh, and prepares a five-topic podcast on recent news with accurate references and a cold opening. This is really cool because you could probably be doing the same exact thing with uh, a YouTube video. I might have to try to do that, something like that. But that's really interesting. So you could be doing that with a podcast, a YouTube video, probably you could prep and do that for news articles as well. Of course, you would wanna check the references and make sure this factual, but it does all of those things for you. Interesting. This is the one that really jumps out to me right here. Build an app that downloads the necessary software for you. So AutoGPT was creating a, an app for me. Recognize I didn't have Node. Googled how to install Node. Found a Stack Overflow article with the link. Downloaded it, extracted it, and then spawned the server for me. <laughs> My contribution, I watched. That was pretty interesting to me. Uh, let me know if you're going to try that or if you want an AI bot to do that for you or a GPT agent to do that. That's really interesting to me. Yeah. Um, let's just go through two more. It says, uh, be your customer service rep for you. Um, Greg brings out the number one customer service rep. Auto GPT can understand customer inquiries, provide support, and even suggest upsells. Imagine having an AI powered representative available 24 seven to assist your customers with their needs that speaks in every language. Crazy. So then you wouldn't even need to outsource the, you know, the customer service, if you're going to be working with an agency to staff it or yourself, if you're, you know, having a lean e-commerce store, a Shopify store, and you need a rep, you could be doing that. Oh my goodness. So many good things. Okay. One last one. It says manage and grow your social media accounts for you. Um, Auto GPT can also be used to manage social media accounts for businesses based on goals, 
of for retreat retweets likes and even sales can generate high quality content scheduled posts and even respond to customer inquiries so again kind of like that management style pretty interesting what you can be doing now some people might be like concerned they're like it's going to take my job but think about it if you're offering a service you could be in charge of auto gpt and offer a service and now it's doing that for you if you're a lean business where you're running an e-commerce a SaaS, you can be using things like auto GPT to do those kind of things. And this is only scratching the surface. Uh, that's just auto GPT. If you want to hear more things with other businesses releasing things like DaVinci uh, Resolve, which allows you to edit videos. Uh, Matt Wolf put out a tweet talking about all the different AI things that it's going to be doing as well. And when no matter what we talk about, auto GPT, all these things, you know this channel is really meant for you to take advantage of this to start making a profitable side hustle, work on your business, all those things. So make sure you download the free guide for the 50 high profit side hustles as we go through all of these things. So let me know in the comment section down below, what are you gonna be working on? Are you gonna be trying out AutoGPT? Do you want me to go with more examples, bring on experts, all of those things? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Have a great day.